from part one. Now one of the nice things about working this way is you do kind of all of the doodle layers first so there isn't an awful lot more work to be done on these prints. What I'm going to do is use them to make a journal. So I'm starting with a piece of uh, regular A4 card. It's quite a nice thick one though, it's about 300 GSM and I've just started by cutting it in half lengthways. So I've ended up with two pieces which I've then scored and folded and it doesn't really matter what size the size is up to you and I'm just going to overlap those and then I end up with a concertina book like this and then what I'm going to do is cut my prints up just to fit inside each square. I can do this double sided. It gives me one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve. 12 squares to cut from my prints. If you are really particular, you could just ink the edges to make sure we don't have any of those kind of cut white edges showing. I'm going to attach my pages with some uh, double sided tape, which I've already got on there, and some craft glue as well, because that just allows me to move it a little bit so I can get it exactly in place. There is my 12 page double sided concertina journal so far. I'm going to add a few top layers now. I'm going to use some of my um, leftover bits, my off cuts, to stamp little images out of so that I can cut them out and add them to the background. I am using Home Sweet Home by Carabelle Studio. contrasting roof and now I can add that to my background. Before I add anything now I'm going to do a little bit more work on these background pages. Out um, a black and a gold. sometimes known as gel medium, to attach my images. I'm going to add a little uh, quote now on my title page. I've typed it out actually on my typewriter, my little book of funky doodles. I'm also going to use a crocodile just to punch some holes in and then I can thread some cord through to do um, a wrap round. So there we have my double sided little book of funky doodles. I've just put two holes in with my crocodile, threaded it through and added little knots of cord here just to hold it all in place. That will then wrap around, tuck through and there we have the finished book. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.